Hello all, welcome to eDraw Max. Let's begin with understanding what an entity relationship diagram is. An ER diagram shows how different entities such as people, objects, or ideas are related to one another. They are mostly used to design and debug in the field of engineering. Now let's see some common ER diagram symbols and notations. For a better view of the symbols, slides have been created using the presentation feature. Entity symbols can be any real-world object that forms the basic structure of a database. This is the basic entity symbol. It is represented by a rectangle with its name inside. Weak entity. This is an entity that can't solely be identified with its attributes. It inherits the identifier of its parent entity and is often integrated with a partial key. Associative entity. This is a special entity that is mostly used in many-to-many -many relationships with all its relationships as many. Inheritance symbols show the relationship between child and parent entities. Optional participation. This means that the entities don't have mandatory participation in the set and are represented by a dotted line. Partial participation. This depicts that not all the entities in the set are part of the relationship and is depicted by a single line. Total participation. This means that all the entities in the set are in a relationship and are depicted by a double line. Crow's foot notation can help you depict the uniqueness and relationship between different entities, known as cardinality. One to many. In this, one entity of set A can be associated with zero or more entities of set B. One to one. This is also known as a mandatory one relationship, in which one entity of set A can be associated with a maximum of one entity of set B. One to many. This means that one entity of set A can be associated with one or more entities of set B. Many to many. In this, one or more entities of set A can be associated with one or more entities of set B. Relationship symbols would simply define how two or more entities are connected to each other. A strong relationship is depicted by a single rhombus with its name inside. In this, an entity is independent, that is, its primary key for any child doesn't contain the primary key of the linked entity. A weak relationship is depicted by a double rhombus with the name inside. In this, the child is dependent on the parent entity as its primary key would contain a component of the parent's primary key. Attribute symbols would define the value or property of any entity. A basic attribute is represented by a single oval with its name written inside. Key attribute. This is a special attribute that is used to uniquely identify an entity. It is represented by an oval with its name underlined. Multi-valued attribute. A derived attribute might not be physically present in the database and could be logically derived from any other attribute. Derived attribute. A derived attribute might not be physically present in the database and could be logically derived from any other attribute, represented by a dotted oval. Weak key attribute. It is an attribute that might be derived from any other attribute, but it would have unique identifiers for the entity. It is represented by a dotted oval with its name underlined. Now let's see some of the expert tips for using ER diagram symbols. To create visually appealing diagrams, consider using eDraw Max. It's a smart drawing tool consisting of thousands of graphics and visual entities. ER diagram symbols are readily available from the symbol library as shown. You can also import all kinds of symbols, icons, and other diagramming entities from any other source to eDraw Max. Now let's look at some examples of ER diagrams. Under the template gallery, you can find many templates. You can readily pick any template and customize it as per your requirements. Select one of the templates from the gallery and import it to the drawing board. Now you can customize it to meet your needs. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more eDraw Max videos.